It's almost been a year since the TikTok prankster known as Mizzy did a prank where he trespassed in someone's house for attention on TikTok. Walking into random houses, let's go. Is that what you do? James? Maybe. Uh, I was just going to right now, please. And only then did the UK wake up to his beyond alarming pranks, which can't even be considered pranks as they were just crimes, ranging from stealing an elderly woman's dog. Uh, hello. Hi. You got a nice dog. Sorry? You got a nice dog? She's lovely, she's sis. Don't run away from gang, hold on the gang. Get outside! <laughs> to running up on random people asking if they want to die. Well, go on, fam. I saw you from over there, yeah? I stop, stop, bro. Stop, fam. I saw you from over there, bro. Don't I, fam. I stop, bro. Hey, yo. All around terrible behavior, and he's definitely lucky he did this in the UK and not in the US, as things could have gone very differently over here in the US, but nothing really happened to him at first. Actually, it had quite the positive effect on him because he finally got the attention he wanted. He even got invited onto national TV a few times. This is where he made an absolute fool out of himself on Pierce Morgan, and I'll play a quick clip from one of my previous videos here. Why, in the name of so-called prankster humor, why cause so much alarm and distress to so many people? Do you get your kicks out of doing that? Not necessarily, but you can say that this whole public outroar just makes me laugh because people are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. <laughs> That is actually the worst counterpoint to have. Because normal people have compassion for each other. Most people want to take care of the elderly. They don't want to steal their dogs and potentially give them a heart attack for doing so. And naturally, when people see that, they're going to be outraged. Like his entire defense here is, oh, it didn't happen to you, so why are you mad? But there was one clip in this interview that was a major part of his downfall. I don't care about the fact you've only got a tiny fine today. No deterrent to you whatsoever. You don't show any real remorse. You don't UK, really care, do you? The UK laws are weak, simple as. And that's huh? not, the UK laws are weak, simple as, and that's huh. not my fault. After that interview, he continued to push the boundaries of his pranks by running into a control room of a metro. <laughs> And he kept this up for a while until the music suddenly stopped as he was arrested and dragged into court. And I'll let myself from the past explain what happened. <laughs> Then he broke that probation and was arrested again. Then he was released again, and this is what he said when he was released. Well, man just got released from jail, innit? Yeah. yeah. Obviously, he's gonna violate. Obviously, I breached my CBO for unstable reasons. Like, it was even my fault that I breached it. Now I'm out here. Nothing. I don't have my jacket. I don't have my wallet. They didn't give me nothing. At least give me one number and I can't make no calls. They're violent. Mm -hmm. Not in the mood at all. Right. No, they're saying I can't come in at all. Like, I just have to go out and find my own way now. Fam. And I need to cool my system. Mm -hmm. They're violent. I'm just not happy, fam. Like, to be honest, that's what it is. I need my sister. I need my yeah, they tell me I need to go all the way back to Thameside before 4 o'clock to start. Apparently, he breached probation here as well, and then he was sentenced to 18 weeks in jail. My understanding was he was let out a little bit early, but he was still banned from social media, so he went back to court. And apparently here, he got a court-ordered social media ban until November of 2025. If he posts before then, he's going back to jail. How do I know that? Well, he started messaging me on Instagram, so I started asking him questions. As he DM'd me, yo, bro, what's good? Nothing much, my boy. Chilling, bro, laying low key, bro. That social media thing right now, everyone's not even everyone's the feds are onto me, bro. If I post, I just go back to Joe again for leaving longer. So I'm just laying low and being a normal civilian right now. But I saw your videos in it that you made of me, and I can't lie, I rate them still. They're actually funny. <laughs> they're funny, they're funny still. You've done your thing. Might have to do a little update video in a like couple of months' time when I, when I have more actions going on. But right now, I got a plan to come back to socials, but it's just like, it's a bit long right now. It's a bit long because I'm banned from posting videos until November 2025. Yup, can only post pictures, can't contribute to any video content, can't post any video content, even if it's a promo, like, they dumb me dirty. At the end of the day, it's kind of my fault. But at the end of the day, it's not as well, bro, because them man actually dragged it, bro, because I got basically arrested for a video that I had documented consent to post. It was a video of me and Liquor Man when we got into a fight. 
So I was like, oh, no way. So if you post before November 2025, you're going back to jail. Then he showed me which video actually got his probation violated. And then I said, because you were a part of that video, you now can't post until November of 2025. What are you going to do in the meantime? And are you going to change your content when you return? He then confirms the ban and responds with what he's going to do now. In the meantime, I'm just living in reality, like living an actual personal life, though, because at the end of the day, social media is a massive facade. And I need to do things right for me so I don't go to jail. So I was at Collie for a bit. I was in the media course, but I finished that now. So I got my level three NVQ in creative media. Now I'm doing a construction course right now, CSCS card and that. I was going to get my CSCS card and stop hopping in the trade for a bit. like, Because I can't post on social media. So the only money I make from social media is through promos. I'm going to come back when i return i'm gonna change up the content a bit i'll still be doing like pranks to some extent but probably like nico jidian type content it's only gonna be more I, have, I don't know yet i don't know yet i'm planning for my return probably next year man's been in talks with mams taylor or ksi and these people and they were like oh I'll, we can put you on misfits but we just need to know when your conditions are over and then we'll get that going straight away they want me to like do a main card or like a like second to the main card so that's something came up. and then music i want to drop a fresh home song when i'm allowed back to post and i want to post a youtube video explaining what i've been up to in the like basically two years i've been gone and everything else i mean bro you called the uk system weak and then they actually showed you that they're not that weak <laughs> and i was like oh damn it <laughs> Yeah, I literally that as well. <laughs> I was like, UK laws a week. They were like, what? UK laws a week? Bam, slapped. Can Joe. Can Joe twice. Can get section. All of that, fam. Yeah. Go around, find out. It's literally what happened, bro. At the end of the day, it makes a good fucking story, cuz. Especially if I make a good comeback and I can change things right, it'll make a good story. <laughs> now, for real, I'm not an idiot. I do dumb things on the internet, but I'm not an idiot. I just love attention. Can't lie. <laughs> Your trajectory from the start made me realize the UK was going to shut you down. A hundred percent. I would have got away with it for way longer if I didn't say that, fam. I don't know why I said that, bro. I was just even stupid, fam. Like, man just came out of um, jail, innit? Like, so I went to jail the first time for three days, innit? Come out after the three days. Piers Morgan hits me up. He's just like, yo, come on my show. I want you to be on internet. I want you to be on national TV. But I want you to be on Piers Morgan first, innit? I was just gas, bro. Like, I was just a little cloud glove. And I'm like, yeah, let me hop on Piers Morgan. I'm going to get back cloud. No, 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 no. I have no social medias left, so I might as well <laughs> done it now. He wasn't letting me talk, so I was just getting aggravated. Then I just started saying, I just started being like, oh, I just started being bare. What's that word, bro? I don't even know the word. Let me just use egotistical. I was being bare egotistical, and I just thought I was a big boss. And I was just like, yeah, f that UK does a week. No one can catch me. Like, look at me. I'm we outside, bro. Man's on pairs walking. There's definitely other ways to get attention on the internet without harassing people, breaking into their homes and going to jail. Yeah, 100%. There's definitely other ways to get attention on the internet. And there's so many ways, bro. I could literally just act like a fucking crackhead and say the random shit and people, it will still blow up and I can still make money from it. It's just the angle that I went at wasn't the best angle. But at the start, it was. Because I was not I was doing harmless pranks at the start. It wasn't too crazy. It wasn't too mad. It was just harmless, fun, innocent pranks. And then they got, they got heightened. Man, up the ante. And then I realised that I needed to keep going because of what I built from doing crazy shit. I feel like you definitely would have gotten away with it for way longer if you didn't call the UK weak on national TV. Well, I can't, I don't know where my words are going today, bro. But literally what I was going to say is, if I was in America and I'd done what I'd done, if I, w if I didn't end up dead, then I would have ended up with a platform. I would have ended up being um, gifted and everything. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I don't think those stunts would fly in the US the same way, especially the do you want to die ones. Mm, I hear it. Yeah, probably not the do you want to die one. But I had a wide range of videos. It wasn't just wild, wild, crazy stuff. There was also just, some, like I said before, like just harmless ones. Yeah, but a lot needs to be changed. So within these two years, this year's the setback year. Next year's the build-up year. And I feel like I can come back at the beginning of 2026. I'm basically unbanned at the end of 2025. And GTA 6 will be out also. So I might even start streaming or something. 
I guess all that matters is you learn from your past and you move forward in the best way possible. And that was pretty much it for this little interview, except me asking if I could post the DMs because I do live in a one party consent state, but I don't want to be the reason he's thrown back into jail. I'll let his own actions do that for him. But at least we see some reflection here. We rarely get the reflection part on so many of the people that we cover. So, I mean, that's at least positive. At the end of the day, we just want the main character burden to society content to stop. And it seems like he wants to pivot or well, he's forced to pivot. But I don't care how he got here. What I do care about, though, is that he doesn't go back to making the content that got him in jail in the first place. Because society is tired of that. We don't deserve that. So I'm just hoping this is a step in the right direction for him and uh, he doesn't return to his past actions. And also, shout out the UK legal system for actually doing their job. All right, so I was literally just about to post this video, but now it seems like the police has now showed up to his house again due to a photo of uh, how he was holding his child. So, uh... <sighs> Maybe some people just don't learn after all. So that was the quick story on how the UK legal system humbled a TikTok prankster. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.